breakdown of law and order. Creating a space for historically marginalized people to fill leadership roles in their communities has been a major task. The Center for Citizens with Disabilities says persons with disabilities need to be equipped ahead of next election not only to vote, but to contest for political positions. Olamide Adeyemi has more. Sadly, persons with disabilities often face systemic exclusion and discrimination. Interestingly, the advocacy against this practice has been consistent across platforms. The opportunity to be involved in political life is at the head of what it means to live in a democratic society. The right to political participation, including persons with disabilities, is firmly grounded in international laws. But despite this, there are significant challenges to the realization of the right to political participation for persons with disabilities. They try to make provisions for persons with disability during election by providing assistive materials on election day. But now, with this workshop, we are putting so much emphasis on persons with disability taking part in the political process. Persons with disabilities aspiring for politics to come out and build their capacities because we believe that persons with disabilities are also human beings. Whatever the able people have right to do in politics, so also we persons with disability. But one thing that I know is that in the last election, the federal government tried to provide the necessary atmosphere for persons with disability. Like we visually impaired, they made available braille voting shit for us. APC as a party which I belong to, they have been trying to do marvelously well in order to encourage us to come up right from the party structure. Then creation of an um, essay on disability matter to the governor is part of it. But what I think uh, that can really encourage people with disability, most especially apart from my my own cluster, which happened to be the uh, physical cluster. Most of us were into politics. But um, the other clusters, um, they are far, far behind. Barriers to political participation do not affect all persons with disabilities equally. Those with more severe impairment, as well as people with particular types of impairment, for example, persons with intellectual disabilities, disproportionately face barriers to their participation in political life. As these individuals are often some of the most isolated and excluded in the political process. Olamide Adeyemi, TVC News, Lagos.